In October 1993, the U.S. Congress terminated the superconducting supercollider when its estimated price tag went above $10 billion. The SSC was designed to do a pretty wide range of physics goals, but at the very core of it was to find the Higgs boson. And ever since, this project has been referred to as a watershed in the history of science, or the history of physics especially, in that the funding for high energy physics was either flat or declining ever since. Inside Science. One day, the Director Emeritus of SLAC, Wolfgang Panofsky, best known as PIF, came into my office and he said, you know, I think this was a bridge too far. And I always often puzzled what that meant and finally resolved it uh, years later uh, when I realized that this was the title of a book about a, a disastrous Allied campaign during World War II. But that really uh, keyed my thinking about this project. The SSC was designed to understand why do particles have mass. And, uh, the theories generally had massless particles in them and they had a high degree of symmetry. And you had to break that symmetry down by giving particles mass. And there was a mechanism called the Higgs mechanism that did this in a very natural way. But it required the existence of a particle called the Higgs boson. Uh, and nobody could really specify the mass it had to have. There was a large range of masses uh, ranging from, oh, about the mass of a proton up to about a thousand times the mass of a proton in which it might occur. And so successive particle colliders and accelerators went looking for this. The SSC was built to be sure that they could either find the Higgs boson or find some other phenomenon responsible for why particles have mass. The SSC was understood that it would have to be a multi-billion dollar project. Everything the community had done before that uh, it had been hundreds of millions of dollars, say evaluated in 1990 dollars. This one was clearly going to be two, three, and it eventually was over 10 billion dollars. When you get to those kinds of numbers, you have to bring in partners. Uh, in this case, the uh, Texas politicos, members of the military industrial complex. To them, it was a high tech jobs project. And that was the image that they projected in uh, Congress. And uh, that is like the kiss of death, right? especially when you have a multi-billion dollar project that is growing seemingly out of control, pressing on many other projects, not just science projects, but also water projects in various districts uh, throughout the nation. Was this project too big for the U.S. high energy physics community to embrace? And in general, I, I think it was. The SSC was indeed a bridge too far. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.